Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking out the Japanese Reserve Key 10 and Air Realistic. Uh, positive column on this one. It has a fantastic climb rate. Um, it's a biplane, so it's going to turn very well. It's got two 7.7 millimeter guns on it, which doesn't sound like much, but at Reserve, they do pretty good. And 900 rounds of ammo, which is pretty significant. Um, on the downside for this is it's not a plane you want to get shot in a lot. Um, it doesn't take damage well, so got to be careful not to go after bombers or tail gunners and things like that. So let's take it out and see what we can do with it. All right, so map is counteroffensive. We've got our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance, minimum fuel load. Um, I think this is a very small map, so we're going to end up running into the enemy really quick. Um, we just want to make sure we get that energy advantage as soon as we can. I'm not going to use WEP on the climb for this because the WEP burns up the engine too fast. It's extremely effective. It's really good WEP, especially when you're in a battle, but no sense burning our engine up now. Go ahead and climb around 125 miles per hour. And let's see what we got. So full teams on either side, which is awesome. Plenty of targets. That's good. Up against America, Great Britain, and Sweden, Yelva Svenskas. See our 42s climbing as well as we are, but we're not using WEP, so might be the difference. It does have a slightly better engine than the CR-32s, but based on the BR, I definitely prefer the CR-32s. 50 cals are freaking fantastic. Uh, just two guys squatted together on their side. Got a lot of attackers. Wow. What are they all? BB-1s? Alright, so first look at their fighters. Like I said, it's close quarters map, so we're running into them early. E36. J8. We need 100% power without the WEP on. This thing ends up uh, overheating the water pretty quick. Alright, so Martha Fockers, J11, P36. All right, so we're on track right now. We're just gonna keep climbing. Hopefully they're gonna go down, get low and slow against our BB-1s, which it looks like most of them are doing, except for the Fokker. Fokker's got a 20 mil on it, so you don't wanna get hit by it, but if we can make a miss once, we can definitely outturn them. Keeping our eye on what's going on. Got three guys chasing one SP2. A team. All right, so we're close enough now. Let's throw the WEP on. I don't care if we overheat our engine. Want to make sure we have an energy advantage when we get to this guy. Let's see what he's going after other than us. Got an energy advantage over everybody else. We are catching them at the moment, so we'll just keep it up. Not aiming at him, we're aiming at where he's going. He's going to want to do that. We're not going to want to do a head on with him, like we said. He's got better armament. We can out turn, though. Slot in right behind him. Got a little too close that time, so we're going to do one more vertical loop. He's down. Let's go for next target. So a lot of them down low. J8A is the only one that's up high still. I think I'm just not going to worry about them. There's too many targets underneath us. We've got a great energy advantage over all of them. So let's just go ahead and dive in. And dive in on the side where our boys are. 
a little too fast, we're going to cut our engine, our throttle. Alright, so best approach is straight down. We're definitely not straight down on this guy, so could have done that better, but throw our throttle back on, make sure we catch up to him. Hopefully he's asleep. See if we can get him to turn. Not sure where I'm missing, but I'm definitely missing. There we go, a few hits. Got him to move. We're alone with him over here. I just checked the radar, so we don't have to worry about his teammates doing anything mean to us. Go ahead and take the WEP off. He either got his engine or he cut it off. That was interesting. Sometimes people cut it off so that you uh, go past him. Not quite sure what happened there, though. All right, two down. Got three off to our left. Yeah, they're down to not too many. So we're going to set ourselves up to basically cut off their retreat back to their airbase. We'll go a little further left. The assumption that once their bombs are gone, most uh, most light bombers are going to go back to base. They can dogfight a little bit. TBD has a 50 cal. V-156 has a couple 7mm guns, but typically they just want to go back and rearm. So we're going to cut into the left here. It's V-156. We're going to have to make a miss once. I don't think we have enough... Uh, Enough energy to stay away from his guns completely. He's already firing. So we're going to go underneath his guns. I'm just going to roll right in behind him. He does have a back gunner. That guy just ditched the TBD to go after our kill. Nice. I love teammates. Good hits, nothing special though. Oh, well, special enough, I guess. E156 is still up. There we go, he's down. Alright, we're close enough to our base. Let's go ahead and uh, repair, refuel, and rearm. I'll check back in with you guys when we're uh, back in the air. Set up to go after a textbook RB landing. Smoke on. Line up to the runway. Go inverted. We should be able to get underneath this SP2. Or get close to the ground but not touch it. Or you can touch it. There you go. Perfect textbook landing. Well done. Alright, so all in all, good game in the uh, Key 10. So we ended up with four air kills. That's about it. Didn't end up hitting any grounds first place on the team. But we were able to show, um, you know, getting that energy advantage from the start, how well it climbs and, and how well that helps you out in the game. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.